The Nasdaq is typically very sensitive to US interest rates, and many analysts are considering the recent rally in the Nasdaq very stretched. You can see that it's not too far off the 2021 highs, as the tech stock rally has really been helping the Nasdaq to keep moving higher. Now, the US labor data is coming out on Friday, and it's a major, major focus for the market. And it could either be a catalyst for another upside in the Nasdaq, or for potentially this resistance area to become an obvious selling zone. So let's look at the US labor market report. It's expected to see that US jobs have added another 225,000 jobs to the economy. Uh, the unemployment rate is expected to come in at 3.7% in line with the prior. But the headline jobs is expected to fall lower from the prior of 339,000. So it's a fairly strong jobs market. And what we need to see is a big shift in the jobs market for a clear direction in the NASDAQ, because the Fed are using it to set their interest rate expectations and their interest rate path. Now, if you look at the prior reading of 339, just note that that was the most jobs added in the last four months for May. And it was a, a long way above the market forecast at the time of 190,000. And figures for March and April have also been revised up. So the sort of trend up to this point has been a firmer US jobs market than had been anticipated. So in the very short term, if the jobs market is a big surprise to the downside, that should support the NASDAQ higher. However, in the medium term, company earnings will come back to the foreground for the next significant move in the NASDAQ. But you see, this Season X event feature allows us to see historic movements of the NASDAQ over the last 10 years over the US labor market report. And on average, in the three days before and the three days after the report, the NASDAQ has gained on average 0.44%. So there is a bias towards gains over this report over the last 10 years. And there's, you know, a 62.50% winning trade percentage. So it's clearly in favour of buying. So could this mean that a weak jobs report will result in the NASDAQ gaining out of a weak NFP print. So if the jobs report is very weak, can we see the NASDAQ gain? Now the major trade risk, all outlooks have risk, this is no exception. And the biggest risk here would be if the labour market readings come in strong, surprise to the upside like they have in the past, and that will mean the Fed can quite happily uh, go ahead with their two planned interest rate hikes, and that could potentially be a natural headwind for the NASDAQ. The other issue for the NASDAQ is a lot of this rally has been driven by a few big name stocks uh, in the tech sector. So it's not a very broad market rally, it's quite narrow. So it means, you know, any bad news from some of those big name stocks and the rally can fade as quickly as it came. And also notice we're getting towards the top of this 2021 high. So a lot of analysts are saying this looks very, very stretched considering the economic outlook and, you know, some people's uh, concerns about a, a recession in the US and in other major developing countries. Remember that HYCM clients can access the SeasonX product in order to analyse over 25,000 different currencies, indices, commodities, as well as individual stocks, and all you need to do is contact your account manager for a free trial and you can get started right away. Certain products and services mentioned herein may or may not be available to all clients depending on which HYCM Capital Markets Group entity their trading account adheres to.